Hi everyone, Mr. Morgan Lewis here at the school. Uh, in this video, we're going to go through a drill that's going to help you with some footwork for self defense, uh, particularly when you don't have a self defense partner available. Something you can practice by yourself. And uh, footwork is very, very important to allow you to move correctly, uh, move fast, but also make sure you stay on your feet and don't run the risk of you know, falling or being swept. Although sometimes it's quite hard to do that, it's less likely to happen if you have some sort of uh, muscle memory. So we're going to use these cones. Um, if you haven't got access to cones, then any, any, just any kind of obstacles will do. But really, you want to set them probably about a metre apart between each one. Okay, so the drill is going to follow this. We're going to zigzag between the cones. Now, it doesn't matter what side you start on, but the first thing you've got to remember is whichever side you're on, that leg goes first. So I'm going to go here and go left first. So I'm going to have my hands up, I'm going to have my back heel off the floor, both feet pointing forward, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to push myself across in between the cones. Yeah, like this. Now, from here, because I'm, I'm on this side now, I want to go zigzagging this way, so I'm going to take this foot through first, and as that happens, I'm going to push off of my left foot. Yeah, so you notice straight away my heel comes up on this one, okay? The hands are still up, so now what we do the next one, we move the leg and we push. We move the leg and we push, okay? And then we can go all the way back as well. Seems quite easy, but trust me, it's not. Okay, you have to uh, you have to get used to doing it, and particularly if you want to speed it up. So, whichever way you go, move that leg first. So, if you're going left, left leg. If you're going right, right leg. Okay. So it's here, push. Okay. Now you go around this way. So you move this foot, push, move, push, move, push. Okay. So when you want to do it a little bit faster, okay, it's pushing, pushing, pushing. Pushing and pushing. Okay. Now another way you can practice this, just to get used to which way the legs go around, is to do the, mo the movement, but don't necessarily push as hard. Just kind of skip your way around. All right. So you do you go like this. Okay. And doing that kind of footwork will help you to stay balanced and move. We're mainly doing this so that we can concentrate on moving at an angle. So if my target is there in front of me or my attacker, whichever, okay? Ideally, we wanna get on the outside of them. And the footwork is very, very important. If we stand in front of someone too long, obviously it leaves us open on all kinds of ways. We can turn sideways and limit the amount that they can see, but they're still in front of us, that's the point. We wanna try and get past them. So, we can either run away, which is always the best act of self-defense, is to run away, but sometimes you can't, all right? So we want to try and get past them so we can create another angle to either get away or to take them down or to do something that makes it harder for them to counteract. All right? Now from here, this is where it applies what we just did. You have a target in front of you. You have one leg forward, one leg back. You lift your front foot slightly and you push off of your back foot, allowing you to get to the angle. So my target is now there right in front of me, here. Okay, but I'm at the side, so it's harder for them to get me until they actually turn. All right, so now when I go this way, it's this leg that goes first. Now, it doesn't matter if you have this one forward, all right, because you might not have time to switch and then do it. You might be here. It doesn't matter. All you need to remember is this leg goes first if you're going this way, okay? So it's here, push, okay? Hands are up all the time and you're moving, okay? So that's the drill, all right? So it's just like this, and then you come back, this way and come back you can use the cones or you can use a singular object and practice going from one edge to the other so you move one way come back in move the other way come back in and it's just to encourage speedy footwork one really important principle for the whole thing is to make sure your feet are not like this okay your front foot is flat but your back heel should always be up because your back heel being up allows you to use your calf muscle to spring and push yourself to the side if your foot is flat you're basically having to think about what you're doing. You're having to almost drag your leg across and uh, you're not gonna have time to do that. So if your heel is up by instinct, it will allow you to push quickly and then turn if you need to to face your target, okay? But give that a try. Let us know you get on in the comments, like and share the video. And uh, it's really important when you do this that you practice with a partner as well. So perhaps it might be, uh, might be worth getting a partner to be in front of you with uh, doing a push towards you 
and you can slip to the side and practice the footwork against a live moving target as such. Okay, but in, in any case, enjoy the video, and uh, as always, happy training.